Do you feel that the supply drops in Black Ops 3 are not where they should be? I am in the same boat as you, because these supply drops need to be fixed in Black Ops 3. In Advanced Warfare, we first saw the first introduction of supply drops, and how they brought along weapon variants, and how it became a pay-to-win Call of Duty. And here within Black Ops 3, we have now have the same thing with the new weapons that just came into the supply drops. I'm not going to be mainly talking about those weapons that just came in, I'm talking more on the general side of supply drops. And more on the rare supply drops because commons, you don't really waste your time on common supply drops. So, in general, and we'll get into COD points later on too by the way, because that's what Activision wants you to spend your money on, and, and that's where this whole thing leads to. But in general, it takes a while to get 30 crypto keys, right? Well, the rare supply drops are 30 crypto keys, and that's what you got to save up for. So everyone saves up 30 crypto keys, they spend it on a supply drop, and what ends up happening most of the time is my main problem with a rare supply drop and spending 30 crypto keys on it is that you'll get two common drops like some stupid verde camo or some retarded dust camo that you don't even want because they're garbage you know you're not even going to use it and then you know or, or taunt that you probably already have okay and i get a three crypto key bonus that was a shitty drop and yeah, you're going to get those shitty drops. So I don't want someone there sitting there in the comment section to be like, Oh, well, it's randomly generated, so you're going to get what you get. Yeah, but listen, if it's ra if I get something garbage, the drop shouldn't... It shouldn't give me three crypto keys back. That just makes me feel even more like a failure. So I'm going to teach Treyarch how to fix these supply drops, even though I know that they're not going to fix them, because... You know, Activision sitting there, and they got COD points on the line, and, and that's what they they want people to buy COD points. Because literally, it, the way that it is now, you're basically forced to buy COD points because you don't make enough crypto keys t to get these rare supply drops. So, you could either lower the price of the rare drop, which could be like 20 crypto keys maybe, but... Something better than that. Keep it 30 crypto keys. I think that would be better because then you got to balance it out for COD points. So keep it at 30 crypto keys. But here are the changes that I would make to the supply drops in Black Ops 3. So the first one, step number one, to fix this problem that everyone has experienced at least once, more than once guaranteed. The way you fix it is in the rare drops, the minimum bonus you can get is a 10 crypto key bonus and the maximum is a 40 crypto key bonus. So, let's say I got that drop, and I got those two garbage camels that no one's going to use, and a taunt that maybe I already have. I get a 10 crypto key bonus, and I'll feel better about myself. But a 40 would be maximum. Now, the reason why I say 40 is because, yes, it takes 30 crypto keys to get to get something but a 40 would be great because then you'll have a little bit more you know what i mean you won't have that that sharpness of oh here's 30 and yeah you'll, you'll have more to gain on it you know uh you'll you'll just have more and it's not like i'm saying oh give me a hundred crypto keys please vaughn no i'm saying a little bit that's why the ma the minimum needs to be 10 and the maximum needs to be 40 i think that system would work out better but step two to fix this problem is don't have the randomly generated bonuses on. That is system is a complete failure. So let's say I open a supply drop and I get some an epic camo, one of the new M the MX Garand, we'll say, which is an epic, and a taunt that I already have. Let's just say so I got a rare and two epics. Now, what if I get maybe a 40 crypto key bonus? That would be OP, you know what I mean? That a supply drop being OP. But if I get two garbage camos and a rare, I'll get garbage for bonus. That doesn't make any sense. Enough with the randomly generated bonuses. It's bullshit. What needs to happen is you need whatever you get. Like I'll just make another example. Let's say you get two camos, two garbage camos, and a taunt you already have. You should get the maximum forty crypto key bonus. 
And if you get two epics, well, even if you get one epic, it depends on what it is. It should go depending on what you get in the drop. It should give you the bonus dependent on it. It shouldn't just be randomly generated number because most of the time you're going to get a three crypto key bonus. I think in my entire time of playing Black Ops, I've only gotten two, maybe three 30 crypto key bonuses. And that is that is a very low amount. Uh, so these two steps need to be improved on in order to make the supply drops a better experience because right now you know you you save up 30 crypto keys you're like yeah i'm gonna get so hopefully something good i don't have any of the new weapons in my own personal accounts i don't have any of the new weapons and i save up 30 crypto keys i open a supply drop a rare supply drop which uh, 30 crypto keys takes uh, probably i'm gonna say about an hour of, of hardcore playing at mo mo probably more than that but you get the bonuses and stuff and uh and burns and stuff, but it takes a while to get in game. And then when you open it up and you get two camos, you feel like a failure and you're getting a three crypto key bonus for it. That doesn't make any sense. Anything under 10 for a bonus should be just eliminated. Those are my thoughts on how to fix supply drops within Black Ops 3. And it only makes sense, but people with the, these COD points, the Activision's not going to do that, obviously. They're not going to listen to this video. They're not going to listen to anyone that says anything about it because Activision wants you to buy COD points. That's the whole reason why they made it like this. Okay, yeah, every once in a while you get a rare 30 crypto key bonus, but for most of the time you're going to get those low 5 crypto key bonuses. Uh, I've gotten 10s you know, some of the times, but most of the times I get a three crypto key bonus and everything that I just mentioned needs to be fixed. So that's the end of my rant, the end of my story. Leave a comment down below if you feel the same way or if you disagree, which I don't know how, but you know, there are people out there that disagree with a lot of things. Then you can also mention that down there as well. And I will see you on whatever my next video happens to be. This is Ninja Geek. I'm out. Peace.